This program demonstrates how to conduct small bowel capsule endoscopy with PillCam SB. The ingestible PillCam SB video capsule records detailed images throughout the small bowel. These images are later compiled into a video for review and interpretation. PillCam SB visualizes the small bowel mucosa and may be used as a tool in the detection of abnormalities of the small bowel. Its use is contraindicated in patients who have known or suspected gastrointestinal obstruction, strictures or fistulas, cardiac pacemakers or other implanted electromedical devices, or swallowing disorders. To ensure that patients arrive prepared, you can print and give them copies of the patient instructions from the RAPID software. Instruct patients to arrive for the procedure in loose-fitting, two-piece, opaque, or dark clothing and to refrain from applying lotions or powders on the abdomen. Patients must be on a liquid diet from lunchtime the day before the examination and a complete food and liquid fast for at least six hours prior. They should not take any medication during the two hours before the exam. Before the patient arrives, make sure that you have all the required equipment ready. A charged data recorder 2, a PillCam SB capsule, the 8-lead sensor array and adhesive sleeves, the recorder belt, a marker, and any accessories you may require for very large or small patients. Prepare the sensor array by inserting each sensor into an adhesive sleeve with the dots and this side up markings facing away from the adhesive side of the sleeve. Patient check-in initializes the data recorder with patient and procedure details. Check-in erases data in the data recorder from any previous procedures. Before you begin, check that all four of the data recorder battery indicator LEDs are lit, indicating a full charge. Also, make sure that no live capsules are nearby, as this can cause technical problems. With the data recorder connected to the computer and the rapid program open, go to the Procedures section. In the data recorder screen, click Patient Check-in and enter the requested patient information. The RAPID program will guide you through the process of entering patient data. After patient check-in, keep the data recorder 2 in its cradle until just before ingestion of the capsule. Ask the patient to lie down and expose the stomach down to the pubic bone. If necessary, shave the areas where the sensors will be placed. You may find it helpful to mark the sensor locations in advance. The sensor location guide for small bowel capsule endoscopy will show you exactly where to place each one according to its label letter and color. Take care not to place sensors in inguinal folds or areas that may cause equipment damage. Adjustments may be required based on the patient's anatomy or surgical history such as presence of an ostomy pouch. Lay the sensor array on the patient's body making sure the connector is at the patient's left side. Now attach the sensors using the adhesive sleeves. If you made marks, center the sleeve holes over the mark. With an obese patient, it may be useful to apply the sensors with the patient standing, making the necessary adjustments. Finally, secure the cable to the patient's left hip using adhesive pads. The patient may now get dressed. The sensor array connector should remain outside the patient's clothes. With the data recorder in its pouch and its locking handle open, place the recorder belt on the patient with the data recorder near the left hip. Now, slide the two protrusions of the sensor array connector into the matching grooves in the data recorder. Verify that the connector is inserted completely and then close the locking handle. Before dispensing the PillCam video capsule, make sure no other live PillCam capsules are located nearby. To activate the PillCam, remove it still in its holder from the blister wrapping. The capsule should begin blinking, which will be visible through the translucent holder seal. To verify that the system is operating properly, hold the PillCam in its holder in front of the patient's abdomen near the sensors for at least 15 seconds. When you do this, the capsule LED on the data recorder should begin blinking blue at the same rate that the capsule blinks. If not, refer to the troubleshooting section of your user manual. 
After 15 seconds, ask the patient to remove the capsule from its holder and verify that the pill cam keeps blinking at the correct rate. If the pill cam is removed from its holder before the 15 second pre-ingestion test has elapsed, or if the data recorder is disconnected from the sensor array before pill cam ingestion, do not continue. Instead, return the capsule to its blister, confirm it is not blinking, and start again from patient check-in. With the pill cam in the patient's mouth, the blue capsule LED on the data recorder should continue blinking at two blinks per second. If not, stop and check the troubleshooting section of the user manual. If normal blinking continues, ask the patient to swallow the pill cam with some water. Verify that the data recorder LED is still blinking and note the ingestion time on the event form included with the patient instructions. Before you release patients, remind them to follow all the guidelines and the patient instructions. The patient is now free to resume activity, but must continue fasting for another two hours after ingestion. At that point, water is permitted. Four hours after ingestion, the patient may have a light snack. Ask patients to check occasionally that the blue LED on the data recorder continues to blink twice per second and provide an emergency contact number in case it doesn't. Staff caring for hospitalized patients should encourage ambulation if possible and should themselves check that the data recorder LED is blinking. To receive the equipment after the examination, disconnect the sensor array from the data recorder and take the belt off the patient. Then, remove the data recorder from the belt and place it in its cradle. Make sure you hear the three beeps, confirming the data recorder is properly connected. Now, remove the sensors from the patient with the sensors still in their sleeves. Then, take the sensors out of the adhesive sleeves by tearing the sleeves along the perforations. Do not pull sensors out of the sleeves, as this may damage the sensor array. Wipe the sensors and cables with alcohol and let them air dry for half an hour. The raw data from the data recorder is compiled into a rapid video only using the full rapid software. If using rapid reader software, you can copy the raw data files to a USB device and have them compiled on the full rapid software. To create a video, with the data recorder 2 in its cradle attached to the computer, go to the Rapid Procedures screen and select the recorder bar that corresponds to the data recorder or external device you want to download. Then click Create Video. As the raw data is being processed, you can see the downloading image display. The active data recorder bar indicates when the download is complete. We hope you found this program useful. Remember, if you have further questions, you'll find detailed answers and explanations in the user's manual. PillCam Capsule Endoscopy from Given Imaging, expanding the scope of GI.